Let's take a look at Luke chapter 22 and read the first couple of verses. It says, Now the feast of unleavened bread drew near, which is called Passover. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might kill him, for they feared the people. This brief passage really helps illustrate why the cross of Jesus Christ is a subject you can study the rest of your life and never really come to the end of it. Just take a look at all the stuff that happens in these verses. The leaders in Israel who resented Jesus' teachings and refused to accept Him as Messiah, they're plotting to kill Him. And by doing that, they're actually helping fulfill the Messianic prophecies. The, the Passover was a very special festival that prefigured the sacrifice of Christ on the cross. In the original Passover, which took place just before Israel left Egypt, the blood of the Passover lamb was put on the doorposts of the house. And that way, the destroying angel would pass over the home, and the life of the eldest child would be spared. It was symbolic of what happens when a sinner accepts Christ's sacrifice and is covered by the blood of Christ. It removes the wages of sin, which the Bible describes as death. Now, look at what happens. Those who most hate Christ are unwittingly preparing the ultimate Passover lamb. They believed that Jesus was somehow undermining the religion of Moses, and here they were, unwittingly proving to the world that Jesus actually was the fulfillment of the religion of Moses. They don't believe in Jesus, but they're about to provide a solid prophetic platform for belief that would convince tens of millions of people to follow Jesus in the centuries to come. But, you know, there's even more going on in this passage than the Passover. It also mentions the Feast of Unleavened Bread, a special festival in which the children of Israel would carefully search their homes for any trace of yeast or leaven. In the Bible, you see, leaven was a symbol for sin. And, of course, the act of cleaning the house was symbolic of the work that God intends to do in the believer's heart. Now, look at what happens. There really is no more heinous sin than plotting to kill God's Son. The cross of Calvary demonstrates at the very same moment both the sinner's hatred for God and God's unbelievable love for the sinner. As the enemies of Christ are plotting to kill Jesus, they are unwittingly providing the means by which their hatred for Christ can be forgiven. Plotting a murder violates the very spirit of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, but God uses that event to make the real Feast of Unleavened Bread take place in our hearts. The ultimate expression of sin gives us the ultimate healing of the sinner's heart. It's a fascinating study, and we really don't have time to dissect this passage and find everything it has to offer. But for today, take this lesson with you. God's love for you is boundless. No matter what you've done, no matter where you've been, God has provided a way out. The cross of Christ was necessary because of your sins. And at the same time, it's the ultimate solution to your problem. And that's why a quiet moment studying the cross every day not only strengthens your link to God, it also gives you a better way to live.